Good morning, folks. You are watching 304 angstrom shine of ionized helium in the corona. Plasma filaments lifting and twisting away. We've got a backhand cosmology for a moment, then hit three solar storm analyses and one on Heinrich events. We are rolling through the last day's space weather first, and we find that despite the plethora of active regions denoted by bright umbral magnetic fields, there hasn't been much in the way of flaring or CME production in Earth's direction. There have been several that went off to the sides, as you can see with the coronal rippling. The coronal holes entering Earth-facing longitudes will reboost the earthquake watch here in the coming days, especially for places in uptick in moderate magnitude now, like Japan. The sunspots continue growing, and despite the relative quiet of the larger northern grouping while it's faced Earth the last few days, we are beginning to see more development of the active regions around it, north and south. No sleeping on the sun just yet. We're taking a moment here for magic as the reality of the failure of dark matter scenarios rings truest when they start trying to invent new ways to manipulate the math or invent more new particles to make the math work. Tell me you're desperate without telling me you're desperate. Now there's an entire world of magic mystical particles they want to invoke, which they also say they want lots and lots of money to go searching for. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Coming back to real science with the 2001 solar storm and high detail investigation of various induction and electrodynamic data gathered from around the world. This confirms that when a certain power of solar storm is reached, the bleed over into equatorial electrojet and low latitude effects is very strong, pointing to an explanation for several other instances we've seen where Central America, Africa, and Indonesia had grid issues where nowhere else in the world did. When the sun goes big, there's really no hiding at any latitude. Jumping up to 2019, we see a major solar storm effect. Only a very few times has such a complete particle impact been observed at the polar region, and the thing is, this was not a major solar storm, just major effects. While the long-term trend of the magnetic field strength is downward, it's got good months and bad months along the way. And this is way overkill of an Earth effect based on the moderate magnitude of the solar storm must have been a bad month for Earth. And in that same vein, they noticed that the normal rapid storm recovery after CME passage was absent during the strong geomagnetic storm just a bit over a year ago. Not only did the event not recover as expected, but the strong geomagnetic storm, many of you will recall, was also not warranted by the intensity of the solar wind or space weather. They're starting to see these unexpected effects more and more, and they all point to the continually struggling planetary shield. Lastly, folks, a princess wearing another princess's clothes. They say that the distance traveled by the icebergs and the Heinrich events, the 6,000-year catastrophe cycle of Earth, make no sense unless the waters were much colder than they estimate for even the last glacial maximum 24,000 years ago. That's the fake princess. Yes, it would be a nice chest thump for observers to say the waters can get much, much colder, but that's not the good explanation for the iceberg distribution. It's more like someone jerkingly tilted the world and inertially tossed the broken sea ice to shockingly lower latitude. Then again, variable geophysical latitude isn't exactly one of the tools in their toolbox, which is why they ended up suggesting what truly are impossibly cold water temperatures. The reality is actually slightly scarier. Folks, Kat and I are going to work to get the PDF of the new book up on cells today. Thank you for your patience. Between our books there and the Earth Disaster Documentary and Playlist, you can find linked right below the video. There is all the information you need to become a world-class catastrophist in one day. And just in time. The 1500, 6000, and 12000 year cycles are up this century, and sadly, looking like the first half of it as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.